Matt's Quick Tips. Oh yeah. Here's another nice simple blues riff to learn. This is used at the end of loads and loads of pieces in the blues, can be used as a turnaround as well. And it's very similar to the last one we learned in the last quick tip. What we're going to do is we're going to put our third finger on the third fret of the A string. And I find it most comfortable to reach up with my first finger to the third fret of this G string. This is a shape we're going to use. Then with our right hand, it doesn't matter too much which fingers you use. I tend to use thumb and third. You could use thumb and index if you prefer. We're going to pick the G string, followed by the A string, followed by the G string. If you're into your string numbers, that's four, one, four. OK, so that's top string nearest your nose, the one nearest the floor, back to the top. And just like with the one in the last quick tip, we play that pattern. This time we move the index finger back, keeping the third finger where it is. Repeat the pattern. We move the index finger back again, keeping the other one where it is. And then finally we can resolve it. We could, if we're finishing a song, a C7 is nice there. You can shake it out for a real kind of bluesy feel at the end. If you want to use it as a turnaround, just stick a G7 at the end. I'll often hit that open G string and you hit the G7, which asks the question wanting to be resolved by going round for another verse. Hope you found that interesting. Just once more from the top, slowly. Notice that index finger going back and then I just hit an open G and quicker. These are going to come every day, so make sure you click subscribe and then you'll get an email telling you when the new one is available. If you'd like some more information and my longer videos, you can see my playlists or check out my website, mattsteadukulele.com.